days? How have I never noticed it before? His shop wasn't here yesterday. I never How did he even get here? It's hard like to was built overnight. What do you think they sell? Hopefully not my bread. Probably it's just another dog. I can't see anything. This is terrible. We already have enough shops. This one looks so moldy. It looks haunted. Or abandoned. Why the light colors here? It looks creepy. Let's go! I wonder when it opens. I wonder what kind of stuff they sell. Guys, it's a sign! The one stop happiness shop! Wait, so this store sells happiness? I mean, it claims to say how oh, they sell happiness. It's probably just a scam. Right, Mom? Well, maybe they do therapy? Wait, can you actually sell happiness? Of course not! I bet it's just for more junk no one needs. Mom, you don't think you have to email these? Where did it come from, though? It doesn't look like it belongs here. Should we go in? I Mom, don't. Mom, can we go inside? Oh, maybe another time. But Mom... I said no. Now, let's go. Imagine if we did sell happiness, though. Hmm, yeah, that'd be cool. Wake up. Good morning. State your name. 
why that matters. Watch. How are you feeling, buddy? I'm sad and angry. I hate it here. And I hate my life. And I want, I want to go home. Ooh. See? Totally broken. I'll have to go to the half a moment. The what? The half a moment. It's like a remote. It controls the rockets when this type of thing happens. Let's see, if I turn up the happiness dial just a little bit, maybe that'll work. All right, try asking the question. On the first day? Okay, wow, um, are you happy you became a rocket? Am I ha ha happy, ha ha No, ha not that question, you can't remember anything that will matter to us in their lives before. I didn't know, what do we do? You don't know? I mean, the other motor has this big red light on it, but we're not supposed to use it, it's an emergency. Is this an emergency? I don't know, we'll push the button. Okay. Good morning! Uh, state your name. I'm Buddy! And how are you feeling? The best! I'm the happiest rocket that I've ever lived! Isn't that thing just wonderful? Wow, it worked. Thank goodness. To your position, please. Alright, rockets, it's time to recite the rocket code. Yay! Ice cream. 
so I can land a good job at, at a good firm, work my way up to partner, and I'll have everything I ever wanted, and I'll be happy. Hmm, that's a lot of steps. What if something goes wrong? What if you fail? Well, I, I don't know. I'll probably end up disappointing my whole family and living sad and alone on the streets till I eventually die of starvation. Why would oh, you bring that up? My, my, how dramatic. Now, where is Rachel? I'm right here. Rachel, how do you feel about your life right now? That's what I guess. Really? You haven't been missing your friends at all? Well, I mean, it sucks that I haven't been able to hang out with anyone through this whole pandemic, but, but that's true for everyone. So it is, so it is. But Rachel, do you like your friends? Of course! And do you think they like you? Uh, yeah. Really? Even though Elijah and Sarah have clearly been hanging out and not inviting you? Well, well, and what do you think they talk about when you're not there? I, uh, I don't know. Hmm, that's right. So, now, Peyton. Yeah? Why so angry, Peyton? I'm not angry. Your face seems to disagree with you. I just think this is a waste of time. That's all. You're clearly not a real doctor. Are you this angry all the time, dear child? Only if people keep asking me stupid questions. All right, we'll talk about something else. When did you cut your hair? My what? Your hair. You've made quite a big change. So, I like it. I'm sure you do. But that's not why you cut it, was it? How do you know? I know all. You don't know anything about me? About my life? Perhaps not. But I do know that each of you has been feeling rather a lot lately. Stressed. Lonely. Angry. Well, what if I told you I could solve all your problems? <laughs> yeah, right. I doubt it. My life sucks way too much to believe that. Oh? Study hard, try my best, I hate going to school. 
There's all the tests and homework and the pressure to be cool. I wash my hands, I wear my mask, and all day at my desk. But if they care about our hiding, why is the bathroom such a mess? So my life sucks.
they can just choose to be happy about it? Oh, it's something everyone can do. I have just made it easier for them by removing the option to feel sadness. And you can do that for me? If you'd like. I don't know. Here, why don't we just have a look at what your life is really like, and that can help you decide. Rabbits, start the Joseph scene. Joe, I just finished grading your math test from last week. Oh, I did back then, Ty. I knew it. Not at all, Joseph, but you did get a B, and I know you can do better. What happened? I knew I screwed up. I got distracted while I was taking the test. Now, Joe, don't be so hard on yourself. This is like, I, I, what am I going to tell my parents? I'm sure they'll understand. No, you don't get it. Is there anything I can do? Can I do a makeup test? Do some extra homework? Anything! Now, Joe, it's only one test. Your report card will. Please let me retake the test. Like you said, I can do it. Let me keep it in school. It's hard to turn back, but I can do it. Please! Stop! Now, now, Joseph. Just calm down. C calm down. <laughs> calm down. Do you not see what's happening? I do see. And what I see is someone who doesn't know how to choose happiness. How am I supposed to choose happiness when I have bad news? Here, I think we should skip scenes. Robbins, fast forward. <laughs> Get your math test back yet? Yeah. Well, happy new kiddo. The letter A for the refrigerator. Of course he got an A. That's our Joseph, the perfect student. Both our kids are so smart. I got a high score on my spelling test today. See what I mean? Both our kids are top notch students. So smart. I want to be. What's that, Joe? Don't mumble. You know how I hate that. I said I got a B. Quiet, Ruth. Joseph, what do you mean you got a B? Is it not an A? But you always get A's! Did you not study hard enough? I studied. Did you not try your best? Of course I tried my best. It's just I couldn't concentrate. I bet it was that friend of yours, the blonde one. Was he distracting you, talking during the test? You're right, honey. He's been nothing but a distraction all year. I'm going to talk to your teacher and make sure you're not sitting anywhere near each other for the rest of the year. No more distraction for you. And no free time. I want to see your nose glued to that textbook, young man. No TV. No dessert. No video game. No fun. No fair. I have nine times killed mommy. One times one is one. Two times two is four. Three times three is nine. See, if your sister can do it, I don't see why it's so much trouble for you. Oh, your sister's half your age! She gets straight A's! Why can't you be more like your sister? Can I have ice cream for dessert? Of course! Oh, wait! You see, Joe? See what? All I see is my life falling apart. But Joe, did this ever actually happen? Or is it just your anxiety telling you what could happen? Well, it hasn't happened yet, but... What if I could remove that anxiety, and you could choose happiness easily? I... yes. Yes, do it. Do it? Make me rock it. I'm sick of feeling like this. Of doubting myself constantly. Of worrying over every little thing. Of replaying every moment in my head, life. Thinking about how I could have done better, or said something smarter, or funnier, or cooler. I'm done with all of it. Are you sure? Yes. All right, then. Come along with me. Well, what are you going to do? Oh, it's a very simple procedure. Don't worry. What's she gonna do to him? She's making him a rocket. It's a very simple procedure. Does it hurt? Not at all. The manual says the procedure is short, simple, completely painless, and highly effective for 99% of patients. I still don't get it. Joe's life wasn't bad at all. So we got one B. Life got such a big deal. Anxiety doesn't always make sense, especially to people on the outside. Sure, but I don't know, could he just use some basic coping skills? What are coping skills? Ways for him to regulate his own anxiety without becoming a rocket. Like grounding! What's that? Grounding helps distract you from what you're experiencing by focusing on being in the present moment. It helps create space from your emotions, which is helpful if they are starting to overwhelm you. Could you show me? I get super anxious about tests. Well, there's a million options. You could dip your hands into cold water and focus on how it feels, like the sensation of it. That won't work. What if there's no water near me when I'm taking the test? You could take deep breaths and focus on your breathing. 
Or try focus on, focusing on your five senses. Try thinking of five things you can see, four things you can touch, three things you can hear, two things you can smell, and one thing you can taste. Or just pay attention to your body. Focus on how each part feels. I have a bit of a headache right here, and this butt itches. Also, I think it might sneeze. Perfect. Now, you just practice doing these things whenever you need. And like I said, there is a million options for grounding techniques. But they don't get rid of your anxiety at all. They're just temporary solutions. The doctor provides lasting results. Look. Hello. Robbins, let's see if the procedure worked. Reperform the Joseph scene, please. So cute! How was school today? Great! Did you get your math test back yet? Yeah! Well, how you do, kiddo? Another A for the refrigerator? Of course he got an A. That's our Joseph the Perfect Student. Both our kids are so smart! I got a high score in my fun test today. See what I mean? Both our kids are top notch students. So smart. I got a B. What's that, Joe? I said I got a B. Joe got a B? Quiet, Ruth. Joseph, what do you mean you got a B? Well, that's all right, kiddo. As long as you did your best. Of course I did my best. I just couldn't concentrate. Well, that's okay. That happens to everyone. Yeah, it sure doesn't change how we feel about you. Now, who wants ice cream? Me. Me. Perfect. Look at him. Just perfect. Now, where who is next? Rachel. Who, me? You're the only Rachel here. But I'm not sure I want to exactly become a robin. Why not? Well, it's just, won't I forget who I am or like what makes me, me? Not if you don't want to. But Joe did, didn't he? Becoming a robin is about making a better, newer version of you and forgetting your worries. Why don't we take a look at what your life is really like? And I think perhaps what you need is a different perspective. Robins, start the Rachel scene. Mom, I'm bored. Why don't you play with your brother? I don't want to. You can tell me what did if you're really that bored. Ugh. Come on, sweetheart. No one likes a gloomy dust. This is what I want to play with you because you're such a buzzkill. <sighs> you can call Sarah. You guys haven't talked in a while. She doesn't want to hang out anymore. I'm sure that's not true. I always have to call her. She never messages me first. Well, it's either that or you help me with dinner. You choose. Fine. Hey, hey, what's up? Oh, nothing. I was just bored and wanted to hang out. Oh, well, I'm a little busy right now. Where are you? We're at the park. Is that Elijah? Yeah, sorry, Elijah's here. We're at the park. And you didn't invite me? Well, it was kind of last minute. Yeah, and besides, we're playing basketball. You hate basketball. I know, I just would have liked to hang out. Can't wait to lose all over. Me too, so, uh, what's new? Uh, nothing. Oh, I got a new dog. You want to see? Sure. Okay, I'll go get him. Be right back. She is so annoying! I know, I'm sorry. Can't you just hang up? That's so mean. You can tell her the call failed. I don't know. She's just so sad all the time. It's depressing to be around. I know, we don't have to talk long. We'll blow her off in a few minutes. How? I'll just make up some excuse. I don't know. Oh, she's dumb, so she'll believe anything. <laughs> True. I can't believe you guys used to be friends. Oops, I guess I'm all help. Would you like to talk about that, Rachel? No. How about what happened afterwards? Nothing happened. I didn't talk to them in school all week. And it's like they didn't even care or notice. They just went on with their lives like I was nothing to them. Whatever, it's fine. You heard them. I'm annoying and depressing to be around. They're better off without me. That's not true. Yes, it is. They never even liked me. Not the way I am. I want to become a robin. I thought you might decide that. 
Now, come with me. We'll have you cheered up in no time. This is so stupid. She doesn't need to become a robot. She just needs better friends. What do you mean? The problem wasn't her. She's allowed to feel her feelings. Uh, I don't think that's right. Feelings are meant to be good. Not all the time. So she's sad a lot. Look at our lives lately. Who isn't? They're not. Of course they're not. But humans are. And people who can't be with you on a bad day don't deserve you on a good one. I've never thought of it like that. Besides, if she's really depressed, the number one thing she should be doing is reaching out and staying, staying connected. It's so easy to withdraw from everyone and isolate when you're feeling these way. But it does no good. So what should someone do? Honestly, try to find someone to talk to. Like a therapist? Sure. So how would someone know if they were depressed or just regular sad? I mean, like, if someone wanted to know. Sadness is a normal human reaction. We all feel sad sometimes, but it's supposed to be temporary. If it's not going away or you stop enjoying anything, even things you used to enjoy, well, then you're probably depressed, but a therapist can help diagnose you. Everyone, I'd like you to meet the new and improved Rachel. Hello! Tell us how you feel now, dear child. I feel wonderful! This is the best I've ever felt! Isn't life great? Ah, that's perfect. So that leaves Peyton. I don't want to share. What do you mean? You can skip me. I don't want to become a robin. I think you might change your mind. Look at how happy they are. I don't care. I don't want to become a robin. You can't make me. Oh, Peyton, I don't want to force you. I just want you to be happy. Why do you care? You don't even know me. I care because caring for others is what makes me happy. Here, why don't we just take a look at what your life is and what it could be. And you're st for still free to decline. Is that all right? Fine. Robins, show painting last Friday at recess. What? No, anything with that? Ew, look who it is, Kelsey. Who? It's that weird girl from class. I hope she's not going to play with us. Kelsey, tell her she can't play with us. You can't play with us. Fine, I didn't want to anyway. What's with her? She's so weird. So weird. Look at her clothes. What's wrong with my clothes? They're old. They're dirty. They're ugly. They're vintage. Sure, can you find telling yourself that? I heard she cut up all of her hair to try to look cool. As if that would work. I heard she cut it off because Cal Higgins forgot it last week. Shut up. You don't know what you're talking about. Don't we? Hey, Kyle, come here. What's up? Did you put gum in Peyton's hair? Who, me? I would never. Would I, Peyton? Shut up, Kyle. Are you going to let her talk to you like that? What did you say to me? Nothing. Just leave me alone. Just leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> Good one, Josh. Look, if you don't stop, I'll... I'll... What? What are you going to do, Peyton? <gasps> Tell me. Oh, we're so scared. <laughs> Our word against yours. And you're a loser. Yeah, Kaylee, such a loser. Why can't you just leave me alone? <laughs> <laughs> Is that it? Is that supposed to make me change my mind? Why don't we just talk about how it made you feel? I don't want to talk about how it feel. Because you're so angry? Of course I'm angry. Look at how they treat me. I don't deserve that, but I don't let it bother me. You still seem pretty bothered. Because you're making me relive it. But I have tools to deal with how it makes me feel. I can count to ten or take deep breaths. You still seem pretty upset. Shouldn't you calm down? Calm down? Calm down? Why don't we talk about how you feel? See how you like it. Well, I'm happy, of course. Are you? Because it looks like you're hiding away in your happiness store. What was so wrong with your life that you had to create a whole new one selling happiness? Uh, nothing. Nothing? Yeah, right. Hey, Rob, we're on the doctor's seat. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't work like... Robins? What are you doing? Stop it! I'm on my way now, sweetheart. I'm so sorry, Mr. Self. I'm afraid there was nothing more we could do. Dad! I can't. I can't. But stop! The program isn't meant to work like this. I don't care. Keep going, Robins. My sister Mary was a good person. I'm going as fast as I can. I can't. A loving wife. A beloved mother. No, I won't miss it, I promise. 
I'm so sorry for your loss. The accident caused too much internal damage. Stop! This shouldn't be happening! I brought over some muffins. Thank you! Dad. There is extensive damage to her brain. I can't! Stop! Please! Not to mention severe spinal damage. Go away! And she'll be missed. Is your father home? I'd like to pay my respects. We did everything we could. Stop! Please, just stop! Stop! Why, Doctor? Didn't like how it made you feel? That was the worst day of my life! I can't relive it! What was that, Doctor? Was it real? My mother died in a car crash when I was young. She was speeding and I heard her recital at school and I made her promise not to miss it. My father, well, he never got over it. Me and my brother, we had our own grief to deal with, but he couldn't even be there for us. We stopped being a real family after the day she died. That sounds awful. I think, I think I'd like to become a rocket. What? Yes, that's what I need. Mazma well can do the procedure. Me? I don't feel comfortable. That's ridiculous. You're just running away from your grief. Yep. Well, you can't do that. Yes, I can. But then you'll never get over it. You have to go through the stages of grief. Shock, denial, anger, you know. But I don't want to feel those things. I just want to be happy. Stop it. Listen, we can't always be happy. Sometimes it's okay to not be okay. <laughs> It's okay to not be happy, no need to smile when you're down. It's important we remember, it's okay to wear a crown. There are some things in this world that do make us feel content. And mother's sure to make us feel that you're on the wrong side of the bed. I just want to be happy, what's the use in feeling sad? Happiness is purpose, other feelings are just worthless, so let me just feel glad. It's okay. I just want to be happy, make these feelings go away. I'm drowning in an ocean, swimming through my emotions, and now I'm not okay. And the world's full of madness, and yet somehow I'm the bad guy. It's okay not to be happy. It's fine not feeling fine. Take a breath, breathe. I'll finally be So, what 
happens now? I guess we're closed. Oh, um, are you sad? Yeah, but it's okay. I understand why this has to happen. It just means we'll have to find a new job. That means more interviews and tests. You'll do fine. You're learning how to manage your anxiety now. I know. Something's still bothering you, isn't it? It's just, what's going on into them? I don't know. They can't stay here. They have families, friends. But I have no idea how to reverse the procedure. There must be something we can do. I'll check the manual. What about this thing? Don't touch that! What? Why? It's dangerous. I think. You don't know? The manual says it's definitely dangerous. I think. But there is an emergency button. What does the manual say? It just says do not touch. Well, that's probably it then, right? I don't know. We have to try something. I don't know. Should we? What harm could it do? A lot, maybe. I'm going to do it. No, don't! One, two, three. Wait, so happy! I'm full of joy, joy, joy. Is it working? I can have. I don't know. Friends, any friends, any friends, any friends. Stop! I'm for about a dog. And stop bullying me. Stop! Stop! Should I keep going? Yes. Today's going to be a month for my B one with your Why? 
I had this garden across from my house. It was my favorite place, but it got torn down for more projects. This is my favorite flower that I grew here, but so now I can plant it and start my own garden. Mine has a picture of my grandma. We were really close before she passed. Have you found yours, Mesla? Uh, yeah. Okay, what's the note, too? What did it say? Um, that the store's mine. What? The store. She's leaving it to me. It says, Mazma, some people find the greatest joy in bringing joy to others. Please look after my shop and make sure it brings happiness to all who enter. Wow, that's amazing. Now you don't have to leave. Neither do you. You can stay and work here if you want. Really? I couldn't ask for a better partner. I'd love to stay and work here. Um, what about us? How do we get home? There's a door. It'll take you back to where you belong. Bye. 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 Oh, Bye. and don't forget to tell your friends about us. The one stop happiness shop where dreams come out on top. Bye. Oh, Thank you. Bye. 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 Farewell. And thanks for everything. Now, thank you. You helped Dr. Zell deal with your grief, and you helped us all learn that it's important to acknowledge our emotions. I hope you're still not feeling angry all the time. No, I mean, I'll still be angry sometimes, but that's okay. Bye. Bye. So, what now? How about we take the day off, and then tomorrow we can plan for a grand reopening. Ooh, with new signs? And new products. Like what? Anything and everything that made people happy. Like plants? And sunshine. Ooh, and pets? Of course. I love it. 